Good afternoon everyone. How are you doing? Hopefully you are doing well. How has your week been? Mine has been so fantastic. And before, before we begin, we start with a word of prayer. Yes, and when we pray, what do we do? We put our hands together, we close our eyes and we begin to pray. Let's pray. Dear everlasting Master, we want to thank you for a beautiful week that you have had. Thank you for this chance just to sit at the table and to listen to the word. I will pray that God open our ear to hear your word and our heart to store your heart. In Jesus' name we pray and believe and we all say Amen. So yes, I'm Teacher Joy Karambu. And do you remember what we learned last Sunday? Can you tell your mommy or daddy? Yes, you are correct. We learned about Jesus being our shepherd. And what did we say a shepherd does? We say the shepherd always carries a rod just to instruct, to guide, to punish. Yes, and today we are learning something in continuation of that. That is our family members being our shepherds. Yes, and we said one of the roles of the shepherd is to instruct. Yes, so we will be learning how to seek advice and to get advice from our family members. And to start us off, who can define for us what is a family? Yes, give your answers to the person next to you. Maybe your guardian, or your mommy, your daddy, your sister, your auntie, or whoever is close unto you. So a family is a group of people who are united by either blood or just close relationships. And yes, in the Bible there are also different kind of families. Yes, when as we were growing up or as we are kids, when we look at the books, we see Mr. and Mrs. Kamau probably and Peter and Mary. That kind of a family. Yes, where there is the parent, the mother, and the father, and the children. Sometimes it may not be the case to us. We may have maybe one parent, probably the other one went to be the Lord. And if that's okay still, we thank God because we have our Abba Father who is in heaven, who listens and guides us as well. So when you're talking about our family members, we are talking even including our grandparents, our guardians, our cousins, our siblings, that is our sister, our brother, our uncles, and the many more you can mention. So when we say about an advice, an advice is a seek, seeking a counsel from someone on what to do or maybe what to choose or what we need for a certain situation. And we will be looking at a story of Moses. That is from the book of Exodus chapter 18 from verse 1 to 27. But we will lay emphasis of for verse 24 to 27. So can you get the, your Bibles? Can you get your Bibles? Yes. Open your Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 18 from verse 24 to 27. I will not read it, but I will try to retell the story. At your own later time, you can open the book of Exodus chapter 18 verse 24 to 27 and read the whole story. So we see this is a story where the Israelites are returned after they have conquered the Egyptians and now they are back. And before Moses went to Egypt, he had left his wife Zipporah and his two sons with his father-in-law. And his father-in-law Jethro now brings back his son and his, his sons and his wife to him. And as the man, the old man, that is Jethro, observes that Moses is doing too much work. He is having the people come to him from morning to evening to have their cases judged by him. And you know that some of the cases, maybe they were so petty like someone, someone has stolen my pen, someone 
has just done something petty, but they would all line up to him. And as they say, the wise men, the old men are just wise. Mr. Jethro observes this and he calls Moses and tells him, Son, do you know what? You wear yourself out. If you will just be doing all this all day, you are just listening to these cases, then you just grow weary because the work is too much and all these people are depending on you to judge their cases. So, as your father, I will advise you, just go and select judges among them, people with wisdom, people who have been chosen by God, and they will help you in making decisions among the people. And that will help you to ease the burden of just making even the people lie in the sun. Imagine with all this hot sunny weather, people are just lining from morning till evening waiting for someone's turn to come to Moses and address his issue. So Moses listens to his father and he chose people to help him to make judgment. So these other judges would deal with the cases which were simple to deal with but the complicated ones, they would then return them to Moses and he would advise them according to the wisdom and according to the knowledge of God. And yes, that's all we are learning about today, seeking advice. Sometimes we may not ask for advice. Moses didn't realize he needed advice from his father. It is just an observation that his father made. That indeed, if Moses, you continue like this, I tell you, you will just be too tired, just handling too many cases. But the old man was full of wisdom. And do you know what? Even our parents, our elder siblings, our cousins, our uncles and our aunties are the same. They can see what we can't see. They will tell you, don't do this, because they know it will lead you to a dangerous place. So we are just learning. Can you learn to listen to the advice from your mommy, from your guardian, anyone that is older than you, even the younger ones, they may have something to tell you. And if you listen, you will have a good life. You will enjoy it, I tell you. So let me ask you a question. Do you think someone can advise you wrongly? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Yes, you are true. You may receive some wrong advices. And therefore, for us to gauge the advice we are being given, even by our friends, our teachers, when your friends tell you to go and steal, you just go and steal? No, that is so bad. You don't go stealing. That is wrong. So you listen to the advices and you weigh them. Yes. So let me ask you a question. What kind of advice would you like to be given by your parents? What issue is stressing you that you need some help from someone who is older than you or maybe someone you admire or look up to? Note it down and because they are perhaps there within your reach, you should go and inquire from them. You should go and ask them what they think of that. Maybe you are planning to take yourself somewhere. Ask them, is it wise to go that place alone? Maybe you are planning to visit a, par a friend. It is wise that you ask for your parents' permission and guidance on maybe what to carry as you go to that place. And that marks the end of our lesson. So we will go to our memory verse, which is coming from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 20. Are you there? Kindly open your Bibles so that we can read it together. It says, You, if you listen to ad, sorry, if you listen to advice and you are willing to learn, one day you will be wise. I will repeat, if you listen to advice and you are willing to learn, one day you'll be wise. Yes. So from our memory verse, we learn two key things. You listen, first of all, 
For example, let's say your mom tells you, if you have to eat sweet, you have to gargle. That means you have listened. When you listen and hear it and you do it, then willingness to learn means you are eager to know why is mommy saying so. Is it applicable to me? Of course, yes, because mommy doesn't want you to get tonsils. Or do you want to go to get tonsils and go to the hospital? Of course not. Who does? Who da, would want that pain of having tonsils? You wouldn't. So mommy is right when he says, if you have to eat sweet, you have to gargle. And that's the reason why mommy doesn't want you to eat sweet. Or probably, if your mommy says, don't go to play in the rain. Yes, you listen and you don't go. Because of what? You will catch some cold and it will be bad. Okay? So, the memory bus is helping us to learn or remind us of what we'll be learning about seeking advice. That if we are willing to listen and we are willing to learn, we will one day become wise. And I bet you want to become wise. So, for our assignment today, just maybe probably you can get a carton. Probably, I'm saying. Maybe a old biscuit carton or a carton where some shoes were bought. And you can use that carton to make a nice present or a gift. You know that gift box? Yes, just make one and just tell your parents thank you for just making you proud or giving you that good advice that has sustained you. I have been a teacher, teacher Joy, and that marks the end of our today's lesson. So let's bow down and pray. Father Lord, we thank you for our wonderful lesson that you have taught us to seek advice, O oh God, even from our parents, from our siblings, O oh God. And be ready to listen unto it, O oh God. I pray that our ears will listen and our hearts will be willing to obey, O oh God. Even to hear from you as we read your word and understand you more, O oh Lord. We thank you. Guide us, protect us, O oh God, throughout the week. May you continue to instruct us, O oh Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. And we all say, Amen. So till next time, bye-bye.